So a couple of days ago, Utah Air Guns sent me these two boxes. A long story short, they wanted to send me out an air gun. I was like, honestly, guys, I like 22s pretty good. Never had a problem with a 22, but you can send me an air gun if you want to. So this video, I've never actually had an air gun that's this nice. Apparently, there's some things about these that are actually going to be better than a 22. I don't know. We'll find out. But uh, yeah, what I got is two boxes that say fragile on it. So that's kind of cool. We're going to open them up, see exactly what we got. Then we're going to be putting it through a lot of tests to see if it's actually better than a 22. And if so, in what ways? There you go. KG pocket knife on the run, boys. So the one we got is, I believe, it's an FX air gun. Bet that's a pump. They probably felt bad for us having to like manually do it all the time. Hot dog. What is this? Nitrous bottle. All right, boys, we got a scuba tank. I think it's empty though. So we're gonna have to figure out a place to get that filled up. Boom! So that's cool. This is actually a compressed air tank. And since air guns run off air, once we fill this up, it'll kind of be like our air station. That's neat. Yeah. Now let's get into this box, which I believe is probably the air gun itself. All right. Another, another box. box. Could be the pellets. They said they're going to send me a bunch of pellets so I can see which one I like best and the gun likes best. All right, boys, here it is. Got a pretty slick case. Not going to lie about that. Let's check her out. Now these things run. This exact one's super expensive. This one's like over, I don't know. It's like pretty expensive, like almost or over 2000. That's insane. But let's see what we got. I don't know, but it comes with a Jolly Rancher, so that's cool. I don't know what this is yet. A baffles? Oh, it's like a suppressor. Well, that's mm. cool. Make it a little bit quieter. Here we got some rails, something like that. I bet that's an Arca rail. Looks like it. What we got here? Probably something for the scope, I think. And then big reveal, there's the gun. What do you think about that, Ethan? You ever seen something look like that? I've seen them on YouTube. We call this FX what? An FX? Power block. I think this one's called the M3. Yeah. Oh man, that's weird looking, I know that. So you're definitely getting something different than a 22. This one's actually a ball pup, which it looks like the barrel's only this long. It's actually this long. So although it does look like I'm about to spawn in Halo. Yeah. It's a little too early to say what we think. I think it looks weird, I know that. Well, we got a squirrel over here somewhere. I wonder if it comes sided in. Dude, I don't know. We got an element scope on it. Never heard of them before. Well, that's okay. Never been much of an air gunner either. I need to scoot the scope up a little bit. Okay. Video game status. I'm gonna be honest, it looks kinda weird. This looks like a P90. P90 looking outfit. If Halo made a P90, that's it. Apparently though, once we put the suppressor on it, it's gonna be extremely quiet. It's on, isn't it? No. That's not it. This is like, maybe it's like a secondary suppressor, but this is another suppressor. What the heck? Which the good thing, there's a lot of pros to an air gun because this is technically not a gun. So you can get around some weird legal stuff with it. Also, once you get your system worked out, the pellets are cheaper per shot. And technically, as long as the air pressure is really high quality, which this one is because it's really expensive, it should be more consistent. Because with the powder in a gun, burns slightly different every single time. But on air it's supposed to be all at once this might be a suppressor yeah i think these are both suppressors maybe this one's better though i would assume i think it's about to rain all right so here's the setup right now i got a 30 moa rail and a 20 moa mount so we're looking at 50 moa right there which uh i don't know i'm just gonna be shooting squirrels from like here to the top of that tree so i don't know if i'm gonna need all them moas but let's open up this which i believe is the pellets we'll load it up we'll shoot it i think it's got enough in it right now to shoot a little bit I mean, I got plenty of 22. And the places that I shoot stuff, I don't really like need to get around laws. I just do it. But if this thing can be more accurate than a 22, maybe I'm sold. But I have no idea. We're going to keep shooting first. I wonder if they're all the same or if they're all different. I guess we'll have to cut them up and find out. They're jumbo heavy. I think they're all the same. That's good enough, though. The grain or weight might be a little different on them, maybe. Nope, they're all the same. The mag's cool. Looks like I was like 25. These are, I think, really high quality pellets. So that's gonna be really cool. Yeah, those are pretty high quality pellets. Like none of them's bent they all look pretty nice. Let me go ahead and figure out how to load the mag. Ah, oh, there we go. Look at me, I figured it out. Let's start off with a few. So we'll start one there. 
I'm more curious to hear what it sounds like and how the gun works. I haven't actually figured that one out yet. There we go. All right, boys, let's figure it out. So here, it's a bullpup. So you put it back here. I think we cock it first. Now we slide this in some way or another. All right, I got it. And now it's in. Here we go. Putting it on fire. That was pretty quiet. That was real quiet. And that thing was scooting pretty good. See another one. That's pretty good. Shoot that little target over there. I'll see if it's sighted in. I don't, I'd say it's probably not sighted in, but we'll see. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe. That's sighted in. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> this is pretty quiet, isn't it? Really quiet. It's getting there quick, too. It is. It's really fast. That's wild. It's doing pretty solid. I say, before we do too much with it, let's grab a box, shoot like three, five shots on target, see what kind of accuracy this does. How'd you pronounce that? I don't know. So far, it's pretty good. We're gonna have to wait and see a little bit later, see how it kills. But let's see the accuracy first. That's important. What Stop. caliber is it? This one is a 22. There's a bunch of adjustments and stuff here. There's that one, there's this one. I really don't know what they do yet. So far, so good though. We're doing pretty good. Looks like we're at about 100. PSI. You know, I think you can actually change this too to where you put how much air pressure per shot in each shot. Does that make sense? All of it. So you can make it slower if you want to. You can make it faster if you want to. I think that's a big thing about what this is, is how much control you have over it. Give a lot. Let's grab pizza box. I let the Beagle Boys out to do their nightly routine, running rabbits. It appears that soap has returned, but Ed is not returned yet. Hey, so what are you doing? And where's Ed? He does not know. Okay. Come on, Soap. Rough night, long night, huh? Come here, Soap, come here. Soap, here, Soap, come on. Come on, bud. Come on over to your home. Usually they stay together, but I don't know where Ed is. Soap came back. Ed's probably pretty close asleep. Let's go shoot their gun. Filled the pellets. I'm not shot. I didn't spill too many though. What we're gonna do is I've actually got my 22. This is the one that I use, the one that I like, the one that I hunt with. It's got subsonic and suppressed. So it's the quietest 22 you can pretty much get. It's also one of the most accurate 22s you can get. And we got a box out there and we're gonna put one one versus one, and we're just gonna see how they do. If this one is far more accurate, then why would I ever use an air gun? I don't have a reason to, but maybe it is more accurate, maybe it's not. I'm not really sure yet. I've never really shot that air gun before, so. I think we're gonna do five shots. Whoever's got the best five shot group, honestly, probably the one I'll be using, because I like accuracy. All right, here we go. Which one do you think we shoot first? Um, the air gun first. Let's shoot the 22 first. All right. <laughs> Hey, let's just shoot the 22 first. All right, I like that. <laughs> we gotta shoot the 22 first. Hope them pigeons are fine. All right, here we go. Five shots with this 22, the one I use all the time. And the only way an air gun's gonna beat this thing is if the air gun's really good. So, here we go. Five shots. Well, that's not too loud. That's five shots. I'm looking at it through the scope. It's gonna be pretty hard to beat because they're all touching. Did you hear it hit the target that last time? I don't know. <laughs> so if their gun's gonna beat it, it's gotta be pretty good. Yeah. They say it is. They say it is. I hope that I'm surprised. I'm rooting for it because I've never seen an air gun like even compare. Me neither. I don't understand how the mag works yet. Mm -mm. There we go. One thing I noticed is that, check out the safety. Isn't that backwards from an AR? Yep. Yeah. Messed up a little bit. 
So what we do, if you've seen me use this a lot, the reason I use it is because I can kind of set the gun in this vise pretty much. And that takes me half and hold still out of it. So it really almost takes me completely out of it except pulling the trigger. And I can make these little micro adjustments so that the scope is aiming right on target without me even touching it. All right, here we go. Hoping for the best. Okay. How's the trigger pull on that? The trigger's really good and it's adjustable too. So you make it whatever you want it. I'm gonna redo that. I think I made a mistake. I think on this one, I shot at the target, hit a little bit high, then kept chasing my bullet hole instead of aiming at the same thing. Cause it all looked the same. We got plenty of air? Yeah, we got plenty of air. They said that once you fill this up, you get like 150 shots or something just off this. That's pretty nice. That's pretty good. Plus the mag holds 25 and you can get extra mags. I like that it's a bullpup cause that means that like this much is not wasted. It's extra barrel length, which should give you more accuracy and more speed. So it's pretty good. This might be a Mino outfit. I'm gonna pick out my favorite stain on the pizza box and shoot it. Actually, I'm gonna pick um, shooting for the middle of an O. You'll see what I mean. Thing I do it with a puffer fish. Alright, so let me show you one at a time. So that's the 22. From 35 yards, you can hit the eyeball of a squirrel the entire time. And that's one of the most accurate 22s I've found. Out of all the ones I've used, that's the most accurate. All the bullets are touching. Well, that was the air guns. And you can see, I kind of messed up because I shot there, then I shot here, and I was like, couldn't see which one was the dot. So then I picked out a new spot, and that's the air gun. So it is actually more accurate. And I was shooting at the middle of the O, but then I shot the O, so I couldn't really aim that great either. That's pretty accurate. Man, that's crazy. Was you expecting that? No. I wasn't either. Because our luck with air guns is they suck. We also use like $75 air guns. We got that, I mean, food stamps don't cover them expensive <laughs> air guns. Okay, okay, gonna be honest. That's pretty good. The accuracy's there, it's quiet. It looks like you're about to like blow up a building or something, because it's a funky looking gun, but maybe it doesn't look as, I don't know, man. After the clips, they fired up that CERN generator and that's what they got. Yeah, I mean, I was gonna say, it doesn't look as scary as a gun. Yeah, it definitely looks a little bit scarier than a gun, if I gotta say that. Looks like somebody's played like Call of Duty and said, you know what? I got me a little bit of pocket change. Let's build this. And yeah. There you go. I got an important thing. Wait. Wait, how much does it weigh? They did put a big scope on it, a six by 24. I mean, that's a pretty big scope. I don't know how much it actually weighs though. I don't love a six power scope because a lot of what I'm doing. Oh, there's a squirrel. All right, let me find him in the scope. Give me a minute. I need to be able to, maybe like a two by seven or something. We may play around with it if we decide that we like it, but it's pretty accurate. Let me grab this gun and figure out the weight. Oh, the air gun's definitely heavier than that. Yeah, it's hard to beat this. This is also one of the lightest 22s I found. I'm pretty particular about my guns. Yeah, this one's definitely a lot lighter. And this one's got the scope cam on it too, which weighs a good chunk of change a little bit. This one does have a giant air tank on it, like an oxygen tank. It's literally all aluminum too. So what's that mean? It's all metal, that gun has. That's true. The scope's really big. Is it more accurate though? I think the answer is yes, but I don't know. I'm not sold yet. I'm still 22 gang right now. I like being able to do this right here. Pop up. I know everything about this gun, 100 yards. I know where to aim, I know where to hit. Can you do it with that one? Let's find out. If so, you might have to eat your own words right here. Yeah. I'm shocked by that. I am too, so far. But it's also $2,000. Yeah. No on that one. I don't know how fast these are moving though.
Oh, I can see the pellet flying. Really? Yeah, that's cool. I mean, I will say this, to get a 22 this accurate, it's still MSRP. I didn't pay this, but 800 bucks for this, 300 bucks for this, 400 bucks for that. I mean, it's expensive, but it's a pretty special gun because I can do things with this gun that I can't with a regular 22. Things that I need to do with pest control and stuff. This 22, it's nearly custom. It's almost perfect for a factory 22. This one's nearly the perfect setup. So comparing this to that, it's kind of a big deal. But this is also top of the line. This is top of the line. And this one's more accurate. And it's quieter, I would say. The question though, is I don't have a ton of experience with pellets, but let me show you what we're shooting, the actual pellets. So this is like 40 grains. These are 18 or 13 grains. I don't know. This package playing both sides, it says 18 comma 13. You can't be doing that. Give me one. But you're shooting about half the weight. But the question is, is that half of the weight big enough to kill the critters that I'm going after? Is it big enough to kill a squirrel? Is it big enough to kill a pigeon? Is it big enough to kill a rabbit? I know that a 22 could kill a person if it needed to, but I don't need it to. And it can also kill a coyote, but I don't need it to do that either. I feel like it'd come down to speed, how fast that's really pushing it. I mean, it's pushing it pretty quick. Yeah, speed kills though. Well, we're gonna go take it right now. We're gonna go see if an air gun kills too. All right, here we go. Felons can buy that. That's true. The good thing, I guess they done this at their place, but that is most definitely already in. Oh yeah. It's absolutely sided in. So we're good to go. I say let's go see if we can kill a pigeon right now. Let's do it. Hey, stop filming, bro. This ain't a game. Stop. All right guys, so we came to my pigeon spot. The pigeons are getting smart, they wasn't here. So we're actually gonna use a different bird as a test subject. It's gonna be starling. So in the United States, there's two kinds of birds that you can kill. You know, red birds, robins, can't shoot stuff like that, but you can shoot an English sparrow and a starling because these are invasive and they're taking up all the food for the native birds that are actually supposed to be here. So we got some right over here. They're pretty easy to identify. So we're gonna take some of them out and help the rest of the birds. I think I gotta reload though, so. Uh, they all ran off. No, they didn't. Yep. There's one up there still. We're gonna take our time though. These are city birds, so they don't know what fear is. We'll load up this mag and we'll see how good this thing can actually do. It's sighted in pretty dang perfect, so. I'll load up four. That'll be a good start. All right, here we go, boys. I'm gonna turn on the scope cam so that y'all see exactly what I see. There we go. Now it's ready to rock, and the bird's gone. There's, there's a couple over there. Yeah, they got a little bit further away. May have to adjust their angle. All right, relocating. All right, they're in a good spot. Ready? Yeah. That one's kind of a long shot, but that'll be a good little test for this thing. If I can figure out where the safety's at. Where the safety's at? They're right there. Is yeah, it on fire? Yep, there you go. Oh wow, it got it. It got it, but just not perfect. That's actually pretty good. I wasn't a perfect aim, pretty but it wild. hit it and it's going down. It's going to die in probably 20 minutes. Could be 20 seconds, I'm not sure. Sometimes with birds, if you hit them with a long shot, they can still go for about 10 seconds before they die. So we'll go over there and see if we can find him, but maybe not. That's good for a second. Ready? Reload. No, come on. It's good. We can't really shoot them on a power line. We need to go to a tree. I am pretty confident in that shot, though. Oh, he's going to a tree. All right. Got my halo looking gun right here. Quick draw. All right, guys, track down that bird. He did indeed die. So he flew as much as he could glide, then he was out. Pretty good. Oh, hit above him or something. 
And just like that, we didn't get to kill as many animals as I was hoping to with this thing. But after using this thing quite a bit, I will say I am extremely surprised at how accurate this thing actually is. And on top of that, how much power it also has too. Whenever you hit something in the right spot with this, it's going down. There was a few shots in there where I didn't exactly hit it right. And that's the reason some of those birds got away. But the simple fact that this thing is extremely accurate, legally it's an air gun. So that does get around a lot of rules. And you do have a giant magazine. This thing thing's a killer. No doubt about it, this thing's a killer. And although there's really not a ton to go out and shoot right now, later in the fall you will be seeing me use this thing again because I still really want to see how this thing can do against a squirrel. Squirrels are bigger than those birds. I do still think it has plenty of power, but we're going to have to wait until the fall, wait until squirrel season, and we're going to find out for sure with the help of Major Wambus. Click right over here for another air gun video or right over here for a tiny 22 that folds up and actually breaks down in half. Thank you so much for watching this video. Remember to like it and buy some merch from kendalkareyoutdoors.com if you want to.